Good afternoon, everyone. In this uh, next edition of the ICT Trades Analyze Series, we're going to be on his Twitter, and we're going to look for February. Uh, what is it? What's my next one? February twenty fourth, twenty twenty three, and February twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. So let's get right started. So he was obviously on his phone for this one, um, and this is going to be, guys. The first one here is going to be. Smiley face with no explanation from February 24, 2023 at 728 p.m. So he's on his phone, so a little bit small the screen here, but we're on the E-mini S&P 500. It is the 15-minute uh, chart, and he's got two things outlined that's probably going to be new week opening gap, new day opening gap. Uh, let's see where he takes his first execution. Assume he takes one. Oh, that was on Euro USD. Not sure. Okay, he's got the dollar index to compare. Ah, oh, he's showing you the dollar index, the inverse correlation between the dollar index and the E mini S and P five hundred. See the inverse correlation, guys. Very strong in this example. Okay, he's just showing you that S&T divergence between the mini S&P 500 and the dollar index. <clears throat> Okay, guys, that was February 24, 2023, and he's outlining to you the inverse correlation between the dollar index and the ES. Um, okay, uh, next execution. February 28, 2023, he says 39.92, 10 contracts, 39.89 quarters, 5 contracts, 39.87, 5 contracts, the rest you see as it unfolds. I was stopped out before the 3 a.m. lows. I called for were cleared. Take a watch. Okay, so he's already in a short. Let me try and analyze where that short came in. Um, looking there on the right side of the screen, he's in a balanced price range, drawn liquidity. He's outlined that as lower. Uh, he's got a SIBI above that remains open, so that would be a breakaway gap, guys. Breakaway gap and then inverted fair value gap on the. If you see the. Um, Lower red box there, lower red box, that's going to be an inverted fair value gap. Okay. And we're drawing lower. Um, I'm not sure what his lower drawing is. Let me see if that's... Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the lower, um, that's kind of looking like new week opening gap or new day opening gap. Um, blue lines here on the bottom left, that's going to be a volume imbalance he has outlined. His contracts came on at the market, um, and he's got a SIBI outlined at the top and a SIBI inverted fair value gap there is the middle red box. Let's see if he takes off any partials. Okay, oh, he added on more. Wow, so what was that? That's kind of difficult for me to say what that execution was. He added on five more contracts. Let's see what he says about that. All right. Yeah, his execution videos has got have gotten better. He he kind of describes what he's doing more. Some of the older one he's he's just kind of showing off, doesn't really explain why but I can see from his boxes what those are those that's a SIBI and a inverted fair value gap with the draw liquidity lower he's entering in at the market 
Um, this is 3 p.m. to 3.30, so this is um, this is the market on close macro, guys. Market on close macro. Okay, notice that first low. He's zooming in on that. I'm certain he'll take off contracts there. Yeah, so you see first five contracts come off at the very first low, guys. That's risk management. Comes off at the market. <clears throat> Okay, the stop has been moved to break even. As it reaches the target, you'll see that he's hovering over the buy market. He's getting ready to take more contracts off. Takes five more off as it comes to the top side of the target. <clears throat> All right. He's got 10 contracts on. So blue line there was that old sell side liquidity. Could act as a resistance on the way back up if the market's still drawing lower. Okay, I think he took off more contracts. All right, so he didn't really provide a lot of explanation for this one. I'll give you my, my, my best assessment. The top red box there was a uh, balanced price range. So you see how there's a BISI and then a SIBI on the, on the other side of it. It's also an inverted fair value gap. So you see how that BISI would invert. It's also a breakaway gap. So you see how the price does not trade back into it. That is an inefficiency that's been left open, which is a good sign for lower prices. Um, he has the draw on liquidity lower for some reason. I'm assuming that was like new week opening gap. Um, he takes off most of the contracts as they come into that first low, which is where you should be taking off your contract. Um, and then he's also got that second. You see that inverted fair value gap there, that price respected. That is um, the red box there. So that is that, guys. This has been an analysis of February 22nd and February, uh, what is this, February 28th, February 24th and February 28th, excuse me, February 24th and February 28th, 2023. Bye.